I was very aware of Claude Mackay in Jamaica, who was the premier poet. And he, believed, he had a poetic sensibility. And even before the, the rise of the Harlem Renaissance, where people like Du Bois and the talented 10th, the 10% who are going to um, penetrate American society, Du Bois and the fledgling organizers of the Harlem Renaissance would say that they were going to achieve civil rights by copyright. They were going to show the white man that they could be just as erudite in uh, writing, in art, in film. And Garvey had the same mindset. Garvey wanted to show that anything that the white man could do in terms of the more refined aspects of culture could be replicated by the black man. So the fledgling ideas of poetry, prose, music, the elevation of Jamaican folk music, uh, was something that Garvey advocated even in 1914. But Garvey, in my mind, was also a keen showman. He was a great promoter. He recognised the importance of spectacle. But he recognised that actually to draw people in, you needed to have more than just words. So I think he relied on jazz musicians uh, like the uh, Harlem Hellfighters who had, some of them had been in uh, early jazz bands and had been successful in, in Europe. And in Harlem, Garvey would actually cut records. He would make records um, of his speeches, but they would be accompanied by the musical illustration uh, of those black sentiments.